He's a phantom. Young Danny Phantom, he was just 14 when his parents built a very strange machine. It was designed to view a world unseen. He's gonna get him all the team, he's Danny Phantom. When it didn't fight worse, his folks they just quit. But then Danny took a look inside of it. It was a great big flash of things to say. His molecules got all rearranged. Hello and welcome to another episode of the Pro Crapstinators Poopcast. It's Whoa. back again. Yeah, that's oh, right, God. my dude. I, that's the high level of comedy those Patreon supporters are paying for. Oh, uh, you know it, dude. I'm the best guy ever. Uh, the best uh, poop ever. Uh, I'm joined by uh, Mumkey Poop. <laughs> Crap key um, yeah. uh, moans? I don't know. Yeah, yeah, right. Okay. That's me. Uh, we're jo- uh, Also, uh, Munchie Wears Tiny Craps. He's here. He's here. Ghostbusters 2 is better than Ghostbusters 1. Also, I like poop. Oh, fuck you. Uh Uh And uh, Tom Diarrhea is here. Yeah. (laughs) Yeah. All right. (laughs) Sick. Uh, So today, as you can tell, uh, we're talking about a very serious topic. Um, (laughs) (laughs) One day we have to do the poop cast, but for now... um, That's a bonus episode for sure. The souls of millions of people, ghosts, (laughs) a.k.a. poop. That's right. You will remember their name, uh, mm. ghosts. Yep. Uh, so let's uh, let's check out our uh, our little uh, Urban Dictionary definition over here of ghost of ghost. See what we're. Oh, can I with. guess? Yeah, yeah. Go ahead. It's gonna be um, when the girl you're dating just stops talking to you one oh, day. Oh shit, dog. That's probably that's not number one. I bet that's like number. Oh. Here we go. Oh, okay. Here's number three is holding a hit so long you don't see the smoke when the person exhales. Now, that's a ghost. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. I love you, Urban Dictionary. Um, oh, wait, what about no. ghost poop? Do they have ghost poop on there when you yeah, let know. out a turd and then you look in the toilet and you can't see <laughs> you it? You can't see it. No, not at this page. Oh, but you know, Monkey, you were right. Uh, number two was uh, ghost to avoid someone until they get the picture and stop contacting you. So that's basically yep. what you were talking about. But um, We've all been there. Of, of course. So we're dealing mostly with number one here, um, ghost. The I thought it would, we'd be dealing with number two, if you know what I mean. <laughs> oh, plop. Where's Jesse when you need him? Um, <laughs> a ghost. Uh, the discarnate. Discarnate? I guess that's a word. Soul mm. of a deceased human being or animal. Or animal. <laughs> we're dealing with animal ghosts. Yeah. Still <laughs> occupying the physical realm. These spirits may or may not know that they are dead they can be they can also be called forth they can yes! also be yes! part of the definition oh my god oh wait wait okay number two there's like four definitions for this number two is residuals residuals is a ghost i guess uh okay uh, okay number three a demon angel saint <laughs> Or Christ himself. (laughs) Jesus is the most powerful ghost, no demand. And number four, a poltergeist. Okay, there you you go. Um, More like a poltergeist. Like a Holocaust ghost? Like the ghost of Auschwitz? Okay, cool. Wait, so who wins in a fight? Danny Uh Phantom or Jesus Christ? I mean, we gotta a, give that to Lil that's D. A, but, that, yeah, pay, that's Patreon, another bonus Patreon episode. episode. Don't spoil it yeah, here. Bonus episode. Oh, Patreon.com right, right. right. slash give Danny us money. Danny Phantom versus Jesus Christ <laughs> Nazareth. Oh my god. Are that's we gonna great. record that right after this? Because I'm yes. down. I think we probably should. I think while well, we're okay. in the mood, we're in the well, spirit of I'm down to clown for that. Okay. Um, we're we're gonna go ghost. Uh, so uh, I mean, <laughs> how should we just talk about that right away? Because because actually we had planned to do a ghost episode before some recent events transpired, but there's a there's sort of a new context to discussing ghosts and going true. ghosts you know in 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 today the news so i don't know if you folks have uh, are subscribed to a little channel called uh, monkey jones but oh. um oh, God. i i mean i know it's not very popular it's not very well liked but no, it's uh not at all <laughs> there's uh so there was a there was a, a mass shooting recently by uh what, what's the dude's name mr staircase yeah, Randy Staircase. That's right. Randy Staircase, uh, a, 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 a silly boy, decided that he was going yep, to... Yep, that's what he is. He's a very silly boy. For some reason... Yep. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm misgendering him. He's uh, He identifies as a woman. Um, he identifies as a female ghost because he loves Ember from Danny Phantom so much. So at some point with logic I didn't quite follow, he then decided it would be a good idea to shoot up the supermarket that he works at. And he killed like three people and then himself. And be and he went he he went ghost. He has gone ghost now. Um, so I guess we should discuss uh, our plans to do so as well. You know, like when <laughs> yeah. we'll be also going ghost to join Ember's uh, sick band and remember the name. Um, what do you think, Mumkey? When's 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 your plans for that? Well, first of all, I don't think mm-hmm. this should have been a surprise to anybody about his mental state because he was a diehard brony. So we already knew he was mentally unstable. You're right and about kind that, of childish. Yeah. You're right, dude. But as far as me going ghost one day, oh, buddy. 
Unfortunately, I don't plan on taking other people out with me like Mr. Mm -hmm. Staircase did. Mm -hmm. I'll, I'll probably end up going ghost in my bedroom closet <laughs> with a noose. <laughs> <laughs> I'd go for but the. My uh, question is: yeah, okay. When we all go ghost, what ghost activities are we all going to partake in together? Um, are we going to do a PCP ghost? ghost, like like a like a ghost version of the PCP, where we're all recording a podcast as ghosts? Well, yes. Yeah, with ghost I, I think microphones so. and ghost wires. <laughs> yeah, of course. <laughs> ghost. To the ghost uh, internet, which is like the normal internet for ghosts. Ghost. <laughs> yeah, right. Uh, that makes a lot but of Digi, sense. But Digi, Digi will be too much of a pussy to kill himself now that he has all that money, so he'll have to join in via Ouija board. <laughs> <laughs> that'll uh, that'll be a good way to to bring in our patrons, our patron supporters who give us real money. Uh, yeah. We communicate via Ouija no, board. We only need ghost money at that point. Well, <laughs> all right. A as for enough. what I'm gonna do when I'm a ghost, two words, buddy: global uh -huh. warming. I'm gonna make sure <laughs> global warming is real and it happens swiftly. <laughs> I'm gonna put all my power into warming up the atmosphere with well, my how ghost does being body. being a ghost do that? I'm just, I, you know, I'm just going to get up in there and I'm going to be all spiritual and shit and the, Yo. it's going to just happen, bro. Dude, swear to God. <laughs> if you're trying to, if you're trying to turn up the heat, I've got the ghost for you. Amber, Burn. you will remember. I love you, Hillary, Madame Amber. Okay, that we got the song out of the way. <laughs> no, we just turned all our audience to ghosts. That was done. painful. <laughs> oh, come on. Um, well, <laughs> maybe we should. <laughs> I'm running out of steam on this Ember trick, so maybe we should actually go to our our ghost stories because we are gonna. The, I think like the general through line here is we're gonna talk about our views on ghosts themselves and and any yeah. spooky Sism stories and our ghost we got. Stories and my Ghostbusters Two is the best movie ever made. <laughs> so should we start with uh, what we think about ghosts, our our beliefs mm -hmm. in ghosts yeah. and, and all that shit. Uh, I'm just going to start off saying that ghosts are literally not real, and yeah. there is no, they are 100% do not exist. Uh, if you think so, you are a fool, and any explanation uh, for a, a quote-unquote uh, supernatural event that you think could be attributed to the supernatural is a billion times more likely to be uh, caused by some sort of uh, physical phenomenon that you just aren't aware of or don't understand. So are you really prepared, people, to, like, invent a whole netherworld uh, as the explanation for why, like, your chair shook once as opposed to, I don't know, fucking tectonic plate shifting, dude? I don't fucking know. Um, Nate, are you talking about ghosts or about the Christianity religion? Uh, well, you know, they're related. They're kind of related. Souls, <laughs> we just said you know, Jesus souls. was a ghost. Jesus so, Christ I mean, is the, the most, most powerful, powerful ghost, ghost of all. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Here's That's my right. case. Okay. Ghosts okay. aren't real, but they should be. And I'm willing to... I need to go, I need, I need to become a statesman. I need to study the, 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 the art of statecraft so I can get into president and I can, uh, you know, use my executive power to make ghosts real. I, yeah, I'm 100% because... behind you on this one, dude. Yeah. Right. Every time that I remember that ghosts aren't real, I want to kill myself so I can become the first ghost That's and what start the first did. the first ghost uh, nation. Because every every like ghosts are the only thing that I think matter in real life because they're <laughs> fake and fake things, aka, are better than real things because they're fake and ghosts are fake. That's my <laughs> you logic. Know, uh, before we get too off track, I I did want to ask. So like. Randy Stairs, right? Was he? Did he actually like believe in ghosts? Was he like? Did he think the Danny Phantom was real? Like, what was his headspace at? So he legitimately thought that upon death you would enter the ghost zone from okay. Danny Phantom, where you could be and do whatever mm -hmm. you want. I mean, that yes. sounds really cool, and that's pretty much that's Christianity what I want, there. Bro. That's what I want. The, the great yeah. thing about the uh, the great thing about the uh, the ghost zone is that unlike with Christianity, you can commit suicide and still go there. Unlike in Christianity, which has that annoying clause of you have to keep living and paying, you know, dividends to the church. Right. When I'm a ghost, all I want to do is heat up the earth, cause global warming, <laughs> and you know, may, maybe fuck a few star systems while I'm at it. Hey, Not anyone in here. it, but in the solar What's system. What's up, hippo buddy? Hello. Oh, I hope you enjoy Doctor Who, you fucking non-ghost. Yeah, piece of shit. <laughs> you, you fucking it, physical you form being. Yeah, yeah we started. We fucking of course, started. we started on time, goddamn you. Why weren't you yeah. there? I don't know. Well, <laughs> fuck you. Well, uh, we, yep. If you're lucky that Mage uh, was having mic issues, you'd be you'd be shit dead. Oh, you'd yeah. be a ghost. You'd have gone ghost right now. Oh, no. Yeah. Would Did have I kick Mage off by coming in? Oh, my God. You no, just left no, so many shit, messages. Shit. She had technical issues. Yeah, that was monkey <laughs> spamming at hypocrite. Uh, we, we almost had to go to Jeff. Times. We almost oh, had God. Yeah, we almost got Jeff. Jeff in here. The yeah. ghost of the PCP. <laughs> <laughs> well, uh, okay, what else we got? Gib, Gib, what do you think about ghosts? Tell me what you think about ghosts. Um, I think they're pretty cool. 
Uh, but they're they're you know they're not real, and that's that's pretty that's, that's they basically should be it. real. You agree that they should be okay, real? Okay, okay. I, I believe if... in in the dream bubbles. Yes. What yeah. if a ghost fought a skeleton? Who's more powerful between oh, these a two? A skeleton, Ectoplasm? of course. A skeleton is is a is a oh, raggedy diggly dead. dingly dang guy. He's got he's got <laughs> r- little rattly bones, and he can play xylophone and impress them into into disapparating. <laughs> like you you, That's you, true. you can't you can't destroy a skeleton. He just puts himself back together. A ghost you can put into a vacuum. It, it just they're just they're just so much worse. Uh, well, okay, I'm okay. With you. I'm with I don't you. know about that because mm. what wild skeletons do have that raw physical manpower and then that, mm. that raw horsepower and the unbridled <laughs> consensual sexual ability that uh, <laughs> skeletons possess, you know, at right. whim. Uh, ghosts, uh, they can cause global warming. They can walk through walls, disappear, and fly. They're, They're much, much more unique, unique than, than the other guys. guys. Yes, it was and and knew what he had, had to do. Get to stop all the ghosts that are coming through. through. He's here to fight for They're me. Not and only you. that. But they cause slime, the most important thing yes. a man could ever oh, drink. I'm, I'm so glad you brought up the ectoplasm thing, because I really I want love... to get deep into ectoplasm lore. Yeah, oh, yeah, yeah. Ecto- uh, basically, all I think about is ectoplasm. But yes, yeah, <laughs> this is where my love of slime, this is where my love of slime comes from. Really? Is that I the genesis think about of how... the slime love? Uh, say that again? Is that really the genesis of your slime love? This is deep yes. lore. Okay. It's exactly, okay. exactly. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. One time, you know, I thought about ghosts, and I thought... Oh man, I love slime. <laughs> just like yes. that. I just thought, yeah, oh man. Oh, yeah. Slime! Yeah, slime! S- yeah. Slime! I hate okay. slime, dude. I don't like slip and sliding. I don't like soap. I don't clean myself. It's disgusting. Why would <laughs> you even. You have a low Christ consciousness. I, 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 want, I want to dry out my whole skin. I want my skin and organs and blood to drain away so I can become a skeleton, the driest, guess, bestest friend yeah, you could yeah. ever be. I was oh my god! Say. It, a skeleton versus ghost is like yin and yang. Yeah, it's, it's, it's like true. it's like the, the it's ultimate true. slime versus the ultimate not slime. The ultimate dry, dry okay. versus slime. Yeah, can, dry black versus white. Can someone clarify for this for me? Okay, so so do ghosts produce ectoplasm? Like when they touch, then there's goop there, or is like ectoplasm like what a ghost is? It's what you make you know? when you see a ghost. <laughs> when I poop okay, my what, pants. What, what it is. Is yeah. like like ghosts are not of a material of this world. So when they right. try and interact with like a physical object, like a wall or something, mm-hmm. then like they're they're like atoms fuck up the real world and oh. not imaginary things, and they turn into fucking slime, which you can so, then turn into a delectable drink, and then drink and then turn into a super saiyan yourself. So you're telling me, okay, so ectoplasm is kind of like a waste byproduct of a ghost's existence in the physical plane. Is that exactly is that correct? yeah? Okay, awesome, awesome. Indiana Slimer Phantom. is literally me. It's he, <laughs> literally me. There's not a single more character that is more like me than Slimer. When you look at Slimer, you just think, yep, that's Munchie. If you were to try and argue that Slimer is not me, I think you'd be way off base, and you'd probably be wrong on every level. I think Slimer should make a cameo in My Little Pony. I'm just throwing that out there. I... <laughs> oh, remember that one time Curry made an uh, appearance There's, in My Little it, Pony? He was a Little Pony, no. My Little Pony. There was a slime character in episode uh, something or other of oh, season H- six. Oh, Hugh Jelly. Was, uh, the... Hugh Jelly was a slime boy, right? Yeah, dude, Hugh Jelly, there was a literal. There was a literal slime guy, and he came to the what, party, the, and the he had schmooze? a little bow tie. The I don't remember that. He was a friend of Discord. You, you're, you're a little My Little Pony faggot you don't even know. Oh, <laughs> no. Um... Okay. So can we all agree that we don't believe that ghosts are real? Uh, yes. Tom, yes. Are you on board with that? I, I'm but, 100% but we, but they're all board. great. Okay. So we, we can agree has anybody had? <laughs> has anybody interacted with people who legitimately think that they do? And if so, yes. what's the story? I because I have several people in my life. I do yeah, as well. Mm-hmm. Uh, Nate, go for uh, it, Tom. 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 Uh, yeah, Tom. Let's hear you. Yeah, you should talk. I, I um I don't know. I mean, just like. Uh, I come from, like, a spiritual household. Like, you know, mm-hmm. people in my house, they believe in, in, in religion and all that stuff. And uh, ghosts, I guess, are a part of that. Um, and, and it's interesting because, like, I talk with my dad a lot because we both work in that abandoned building where, like, 100 people have died. And there's, oh. like, pseudo oh, shit. crazy shit that goes on in that place all the time. And, and, <laughs> and, like, there, I've had experiences that most people would att- attribute to ghosts, but I know it's just, like... My primitive mm-hmm. monkey brain uh, having <laughs> having uh, right, right. overreactions. What's that supposed to mean? Oh, well, oh, I mean, no. I just want to. Well, I'm not. I'm not taking it back. So you're just gonna <laughs> you're just gonna have to deal with it. Uh, I didn't fight alongside you in the Great Monkey War for this <laughs> bullshit. Well, yeah. I mean, so like, 
you know, my dad's kind of more more of a spiritual guy, so he'll say like, "Oh yeah, there's mm-hmm. definitely like ghosts and stuff in there." It was like, and and I'm just like, no, I think it's probably just my mm-hmm. my uh, my brain freaking out on me. But I did have a weird experience there a couple days mm-hmm. ago, and and I was I knew it was just like, yeah, it's just me just freaking out. But it definitely felt like you know, it's okay. interesting okay. how like the 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 things line up. So we're just like, oh yeah, it feels like there's something going on, even though there totally sure, isn't. Sure. So. Humans are really I, good at pattern recognition. And so it's it makes it's, us, it's our yeah. biggest flaw. Yep, yep. Because uh, it, it makes us think things that aren't actually true, and then it becomes mm-hmm. this big uh, intercontinental religion, and then people lose all their money, and, and it's bad. And that's yep. how Jesus the Ghost <laughs> came to be. Yeah, the, I guess uh, the losing of the money is bad. But I, it's, mm-hmm. it's the worst. I, I well, think... for, forget... Yeah, go on, go on. Well, I, know, I, I, know, I don't know anybody who actually like believes believes in it. You know, as well, far as I know, I feel like the the people who say they they think about ghosts, they just you know they're having fun, they're having a bit of like, oh, I wonder what that could have been. Uh, well, you'd you know, be wrong because my dad thinks he's seen a ghost before. The okay, you know that yeah right. My I mean I, I kind of I'll talk about a story with my dad too. That's not specifically about ghosts, but it's kind of relevant. Um, but uh, like the thing about the thing about believing in things that you don't know are real. Like I I don't really have a problem on his face with believing in ghosts if you just like want to. But the thing is. Like what I think what you're actually doing when you like allow yourself to believe that stuff is you're like allowing yourself to be like intellectually lazy and you're just like assuming something that you don't know is true and like you're encouraging within yourself a pattern of behavior to just like believe things without proper evidence for them and like that's what I object to uh, that kind of um, like intellectual lazy. But, but I don't know if I go that, that they far. They have evidence. They think that they've seen right. evidence. I think but they're I wrong. Think... I uh-huh, think the thing about to. about ghosts is I think people just like it, it's the same thing with like aliens and all that kind of paranormal mm-hmm. shit. I think mm-hmm. it's just Jesus fun. Jesus God. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, yeah. I think it's just fun to to. <laughs> yeah, it's fun <laughs> to believe in God. It's, well, it is. It it's, is fun for you for think some forever. Yeah, well, that's yeah, what yeah, I'm yeah, saying. Yeah. I think God's like for my all of that shit. I, love I think I think it's just people looking for comfort. And yeah, for yeah. religion, it's definitely a com- more of a comfort thing. But I think for like ghosts mm-hmm. and like Bigfoot and like all that kind of shit, I think it's just fun to think that there's more to the world than what we figured out. You know, having some mystery left in our otherwise predictable and mundane existence. You know, I'm Guys, totally cool I, with that. I, and I okay, go on, Gabe. Go I, on. I I just want to say I love how fucking terrifying God is. Like he's he's the <laughs> yeah, scariest oh, yeah. fucking guy. He I'm is, so scared. Yeah. Of he's him the ultimate ghost, sending me to fucking hell. It's it's I love real fun. Are you gonna join us for the bonus episode? We're doing who wins, Danny Phantom versus Jesus. Uh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> okay, <laughs> you can decide that later. Uh, but uh, you know the thing. You know Christopher Hitchens always had a great line I loved about God, which was just or not you know about like Christianity in general, where it's like. Christianity is like, oh no, uh, he might have been about Islam, but it's all kind of the same thing. Any monotheistic religion, they're all yeah. like, they are, it's like you, and these people who like are all about it and like are so happy that they have God watching over them and then judging them if they should go to heaven or hell. It's like wanting to live in a celestial North Korea where like all your your inner thoughts are judged at every moment. And if you go against the great leader and what he has decided is correct, uh, that's you, like you're gonna fucking go to hell. And people who are like, yeah, God, he's got my back. That's you being like, yes, treat me like a slave treat me like an unthinking automaton that's what i want and i don't even believe in free will but these people claim to and so they're really going against their own fucking message here but forget that tom please continue uh wait wait just to interject here real quick because i think it's really important Mm -hmm. yeah you know i i was a i was i was a non-believer a couple days ago you know i didn't (laughs) i didn't believe in the holy book the the good book that is Mm -hmm. and Mm -hmm. my and my name wasn't in the book of life but ever since Ever since I was called an abomination yesterday, and I was gifted <laughs> Titanic and The Peacemaker, my two favorite Marvel DC comic books. I hope get film adaptations soon. I'm, I'm just going to read you a little bit of a quote from these okay. heavenly books that have restored my faith. Oh, shit. That old hen! She never leaves me alone! I hate her and her Jesus! I wish she was dead! 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 <laughs> All right. <laughs> yeah, and you could you could see more of that on the Gibbon Gibbon Gaming stream of Minecraft featuring Mon, 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 Munchy becoming an yes, license. Sky ever. Oh, yes. and you, but you came later. You came after the Jesus. I came to chill Hillary. Okay, all right, let's get back to God the- damn it. That's what I did. You watch those live streams sometime, Monkey. You will hear the most blue pilled man in the world. Okay, <sighs> go on, go on, Tom, please. 
Um, I don't even remember what I was talking about. It was more well, just you like just talk about the, I guess, any specific spooky stories or uh, of paranormal event. Like you said that you had a, an event the other day, and I was curious what uh, what the incident was. Yeah. Okay. That, that so what happened mm-hmm. the other day? And like it was easy for me to just kind of like, yeah, this is just me being dumb. But still, at the same mm-hmm. time, mm-hmm. your 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 primitive brain definitely fucks with you. Is that I uh, at my job for people who don't know, I work as a quote unquote security guard overnight. Mm-hmm. At uh, this abandoned mill, it's like a couple hundred years old. It's been hollowed out for like a hundred years. There's nothing in there. Do you but live just... in a Scooby Doo episode? Um, <laughs> you know, if I lived in a Scooby Doo episode, eventually I get to the point where I take the mask off and realize my evil boss is behind everything. But I haven't gotten oh, to that no. point yet. So, <laughs> <Ruh-roh>. <laughs> I'm perpetually trapped in the middle of a Scooby Doo episode, which I'd argue is worse. Uh, mm-hmm. So. Uh, in between, like, every two hours, I gotta go do a round, so I have to go around the entire building and, like, make sure nobody's breaking in, because the worst thing that happens in this building is, like, you know, skateboarders come in and try and break windows or whatever. Uh, skateboarders. But it's overnight, so nobody comes in, so I just basically sit there, breathe asbestos, and long for death. So, <laughs> I wish oh, I was joking. No. So, in, in between, like, the two rounds, between, like, 11 and 1, uh, half of the lights on the second floor just all went out at the same time. So okay. when, I, when I when I go up there and like I'm trying to like go through the building and I get to the part like usually when I go through at this point and do my round I just I'm not even paying attention I'm just on my phone doing whatever and just like walking mm. through the motions but like I get to the point where the lights are off and like instantly the like, entire energy of the building like shifted and I knew it was just like my brain fucking up but it felt like there was like some presence in there and there was like a super loud bang next to me and I looked over and nothing's there and I'm just like oh this is fucked up Holy so shit. it was it was really <laughs> fucking weird and then like there's the worst room in the building because the whole building leaks and it's perpetually just like mm-hmm. wet and soaked and there's like moss and shit growing in there Holy uh, fuck. Uh, so I, there's this one room that's like it leaks so bad it's always flooded and like my body like refused to go in there just because like, I was getting like super bad vibes and I'm usually not somebody who listens to vibes I'm just like you know what even if there is like no ghost in there or whatever it's pitch black and there's holes all throughout the floor so I don't want to fall like two floors down so I'm just not going to fucking go in there uh, so I didn't go in there and it was <laughs> sure. fine and and but yeah it was like it was it felt like just it was like my brain playing tricks. I mean, it literally felt like there was something like evil in there just because like yeah. my brain was going haywire. And I told my dad about it and he's like, yeah, I've definitely had experiences. There's definitely like, there's definitely like spirits in there fucking the shit up. Cause like over a hundred people have died in that building apparently. Uh, Dude, that's so crazy. Tom, that is the source of global warming. You found the one room where global warming is being perpetuated from. Uh, you have to go there and it stop is, it. It you is like a perpetual the global warming ghost machine, bro. It is a perpetual greenhouse in there with like the way it's always like hot and gross and sticky. So may- maybe it is. Maybe that is the the uh, the bed of global warming right there. And we need you to. You know, I I feel like it'd be relevant to read uh, another definition relevant to that story that uh, I I didn't read at the beginning. So let me just read you the definition for ghost anal real quick. Okay. Uh, Oh, God. Ghost anal happens when you are fucked in the ass by a huge dick, and it leaves you feeling like you still have a huge dick in your ass, even though the guy left about an hour ago. And let me read just a little example here. (laughs) Woman A. It still feels like I'm being fucked in the ass. Woman B, do you have a good case of ghost anal? Woman A, no, I have a job meeting in 30, and it feels like my shit is going to fall out. Uh, there you go. That's um, <laughs> We've all like, been there. We've all been there. <laughs> Uh, my life is a good ghost Another quote animal. from uh, Titanic. Oh, boy. You can't do this to me! It's not fair! Just when I had it made! I hate you for this, God! And Brad Green eyes! Uh, okay. No, um, glowing green eyes. Oh, fuck. Okay. Uh, You're not uh, a real fan. I Tom. fucked up. It's He's not a real years. fan, Tom. You don't get to join oh. Ember's Ghost Squad with me. Oh, yeah, you'll be in there for sure. Uh, okay, let's go to our next uh, champion. I, uh, unless you have more, Tom. Do you have any more stories? No, ghosts are gay, but they're cool. <laughs> I don't okay. know. I'm conflicted. Oh, fair enough. Uh, 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 Gib. Gib, what's the spookiest ghost story mm. you are? Because you uh, are a ghost. Well, um, the thing I, about ghosts and stuff is that I'm, mm. I'm skeptical, and I know that there's, there's you know logical explanations for things. So mm-hmm. when I'm in a, like out in the dark uh, in a spooky area and I and I hear something and it's fr- it spooks me and I'm like ooh but mm-hmm. I I get all excited I'm like okay let's think <laughs> what what could that have actually been and I go mm-hmm. through in my head like oh yeah science and reason and logic and you know facts <laughs> and shit and I'm professor Layton. There's like equations flying around your head yeah. and, stuff. <laughs> and 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 I deduce like what it probably could have been like oh that's probably an owl like falling over you know um, and, and, and a very loud thing, an owl falling over. <laughs> well, you know, it's like, whoa, you know, 
<laughs> something, something strange yeah, that you couldn't that. Easy, easily like wave away. With, Maybe like... the owl got scared by a ghost and fell. Oh yeah, <laughs> yeah, that's probably. Yeah, so so I I I I'm very into like ghostly places, but I know it's not ghosts. I just like being a little frightened. There was this one time when I was on a goonery, which is like a, a week camp out in a Ooh. country place. Uh, I go there and I and you know sometimes at night. Well, I, I'll, I'll just say it's it's a scout group for like disabled kids, and I help out and I'm a volunteer. But after mm -hmm, lights go mm -hmm. out, after you put all the kids to bed, um, you can just walk around, and it's usually on a school premises. You know, we we hire out a school uh -huh. ground and stuff. And there was this one time it was dark, and I went into the school building. And you're not really supposed to, but the doors open, so I'm like, shit, let's go. And I brought my brother. We went in there with a torch, oh, fuck. and there was. You know, it, it was the scariest thing I've ever seen, but it was so funny <laughs> because the next day I came in and I realized what it was. Um, mm -hmm. There was this giant, I guess it was like a school mascot. It's a giant um, oh, no. uh, ceramic <laughs> gorilla wearing a school <laughs> uniform. <laughs> and I just Monkey. went on there. The floors, the floors were creaky. They were like renovating parts of the building. So there was like, like uh, those buildings were like the floor was all ripped up and there was nothing in it. And then there was just uh -huh. this in the foyer. There was a big old fucking gorilla. <laughs> it fucking spooked me because I thought there was a there was just something there, and I I, re I loved I loved thinking what the fuck could that be? I really got to go in there like when it's light, and mm -hmm. uh, yeah. So I like spooky uh, spooky places. I like being spooked, and yeah. I, I like thinking about it. But I don't really sick. I don't really mind like people being like believing in it. Uh, I just think they're a bit stupid. Yeah. Yeah. Here in America, the only time we get spooked by gorillas is when we go visit Compton. Yo. Oh, no. <laughs> and guys, uh, I don't know if anybody saw this, but on Twitter, I just the uh, last week, I went to the zoo. They had just, the day before I went, they had reopened the gorilla exhibit where uh, that shit went down with Harambe. Literally the place where it happened. I stood there. Oh, my there, God. I Did you see the ghost of Harambe running I, around in the water? He was He was like, <laughs> I know who did 9-11. It was, <laughs> it was me. <laughs> I oh, did no, it. Yeah. No, it's no, it like, I know who did 9-11. It was, and then he fades away, and you're like, who? Oh, who was no. it, Harambe? No. I'll never know. <laughs> Yeah, you know, I think technically that agree. dead gorilla got more votes in the last election than Bernie Sanders did. Oh, did. no. <laughs> oh, dear. It's so sad, but it's true. That's Is that really funny. true? Is that actually true? I mean, you think Democrats wasted their vote in the, the well, main they, election they, on they, Bernie? He wasn't allowed. They, they killed... Yeah, you can, they, you they can write him. in any name yeah, you, you want. Write you can write in any name you want it in the election. It doesn't count, I don't think, if they're not registered, but you can still do it. Oh. Well, yeah, yeah I um, guess you wouldn't think to burn... Burn. Okay, well, in any, <laughs> in any case... There's uh, only one thing scarier than a ghost, and that's a black person. Fat. <laughs> yeah, you can't even see them in the dark. What is that? What's that, going on true. there? Oh my god, imagine if there are blow. black ghosts. Dude. Uh, <laughs> They'd no. be, like, I, twice I, as... They're gonna steal to my ectoplasm. I've seen yeah. what's it called. <laughs> <laughs> ghost dad. Ghost dad. Ghost dad. Cosby. Ghost Cosby, dad. My, fa know? my favorite racist. He's going to oh, rape you. Oh, no. He's going to quaalude the shit out of everybody. Okay. Um, He's going to have a hung jury. <laughs> I, w I want to talk about my experience with ghosts because yeah, unfortunately okay. they have eluded me all my life except for when I was a baby. And as we all know, babies and ghosts don't mix because ghosts are just too <laughs> sexually aggressive. Mm. And babies just don't know how to contain their raw sexual ability. <laughs> right. And they, they just lead the ghosts on to the point of absurdity. So when I was a little kid, I, I was just you know I was just running around, and then uh, I uh, I was just you know just fucking around, cartwheeling all over the place, which you know you do, uh -huh. kicking the shit out of plants, and then and, and, yeah. and then yeah, and and then I just start screaming at the top of my of of my fucking lungs, which you know uh, I'm known to do. Right. And I started screaming "bad man" and pointing at like nothing, and mm -hmm. so uh, my uh, my fucking mom came out and she was like, "Hey, how's how how, how's it going? Why why are you screaming? Shut the fuck up! I don't need to get my belt. And then and she was my like, belt. "Oh man, I, I, I felt weird that day. I I could almost see God Himself staring down at me and, and telling me to leave because yeah. I knew that there was a bad man there. And then and then later after I was told the story, I was like, "You're fucking stupid. Kill yourself." You should make you should make a hit uh, a movie called The Bad Bad Man, and uh, yeah, it's bad, a horror movie man. about yeah, that's good. Uh, and ever since then, I've I've liked ghosts, and so I tried to go like uh, there, I live in San Diego, and there's like a really mm -hmm. historical, famous ghost site place, holy site, oh, cool. called the Whaley House, and supposed to, it's supposed to be mad, mad spiritual, bro. Mm -hmm. Gotta get your your mad consciousness <laughs> up, if you know what I mean. LOL. <laughs> so I so I went there, and I was just like, hey, if you're a ghost, I'm gonna fucking kill you if you don't get out here right fucking now, bro. <laughs> 
I'm, I'm, dude, I'm, dude, I'm, I'm going to post all your nudes on Snapchat if you don't get out here right now, bros. <laughs> you, you know, bros? Hell yeah, so uh, no no ghosts came. Not even not even like a ghost dog, which there is a ghost dog there. Uh, there's a guy who like <laughs> stole a boat. He attempted to steal a boat, but he didn't like successfully steal the boat, and he was captured and hung for almost stealing the boat. Okay, and now he okay. just walks around fucking with people. And uh, I, I want I wanted to see him. I wanted to see fucking uh, the dog. I want to see the little the little children, so I so I could whisk them away with you know it would be really really you know great aesthetically. Two if ghost can, children. If you can capture adult, a ghost, you have like an infinite slime source available at any yeah. time. It would be really convenient for you. I mean that that's a side project. That's a pet project I'm working on right now, where uh, I just have a bunch of uh, souls, not only producing more and more heat to you know admit the atmosphere, but producing slime for me to drink daily, so yes. I can learn the mad truths. Uh, as I said before, I'm reverse blind, and the way I can I can, you know, keep up my my all seeing eye and all my you know heightened senses if I drink a ton of slime, which you know I need ghosts for. So I go around all the time hunting ghosts. Not mm-hmm. too successful lately. I think the ghosts of you know. They've been on the down low. I wonder what's stopping them. It's probably the global warming. That's you know, you, you know, uh, like like global warming is caused by ghosts, but also harmful to ghosts. It's like it's right. it's, it's a lot like poetry, you know. It rhymes. Munchie, do you know what the two scariest ghosts of all time are? Um, the ghosts of those two kids that Gal Gadot fucking killed. Oh, oh my fucking no! <laughs> it's where, where, where did she do that? Where, where did she do that? You'll have to tell me you're my, the expert in this my, field. My favorite ghost well, is 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 both the ghosts of the Twin Towers. Those those guys. <laughs> oh, no. no. They they still haunt that place. If you if you go there and you're like, you know, you're like hovering on in a jetpack. In the Freedom pack, Tower? Yeah, yeah, if you're hovering near where they where they were, it like at the at like like 70% up at the top, you can you can feel the the concrete. You can feel it. Uh, I know every single time, you know, if, if if I'm ever low on ghost power, and I always, you know, if I just want to get shoe, and if I just want to take the easy way out, I'll just I'll just prance along the trail of tears, and I'll just get my butterfly <laughs> net out, and I'll just fucking swing it all up in the air, God. and I'll get that mad slime, bro. I'll get that mad slime. You know, It'll be really funny. I, I wanna I wanna say like I'm I'm thinking of like the way people talk about like spirituality and being connected to the dead and. And how uh, you're so dumb. They're not real. They're not real. Dead people are never. They didn't exist. They just. They didn't exist ever. Mm. And you know they're talking about that. And I'm like, I I completely get it. I just use different language. Like if somebody says, "Oh, there's a guy who died there," I don't feel nothing. I do feel like, "Ooh, there's a guy died here. Ugh. There's a guy died right at my feet. Like what, like is like ten sure. hundred years ago." And I'm like, "Ooh." And really, what the it difference... is is that I'm I'm yeah, feeling yeah. I'm feeling like. Empathy for a human being, or, right, or sympathy, right, or, right. or whatever that's it is, right. and, and that's the feeling I get. And they're talking about mm-hmm. that feeling being something else coming at them, like they can't right, like some yep. external it spiritual energy and not like an internal kind of psychological reaction. Yeah, mm-hmm. that's so exactly really, right. It's, it's funny, hey, bro. Right. It's funny that when you find out somebody died, you feel like empathy or sympathy because I just feel envy. <laughs> <laughs> of course, of course. Um. Uh, that oh, lucky motherfucker. Can we got to do what I've always wanted? Before before Mumkey goes into his ghost story, I just want to bring up real quick. Uh, what do you guys think about about spirit mediums? About people who talk to the dead? Because oh. uh, I've always con artists, the greatest con <laughs> yeah. artists, con artists, alive. retarded or both. You know, I'll, to their credit, I think some of them might just be delusional they and could, like they think they have powers uh, and they're, they're, they're that dumb. They're con autists. There we go. <laughs> yes, that's, that's a good one. That's Patent a good one. Pending. You know that. You know that uh, Long Island spirit medium lady. I yeah. hate her so much. She's like, uh, and everyone just fucking eats her shit. They're like, oh, oh yeah, you're talking to my dead grandma. Oh, I feel so good. I feel so like cathartic that I got to talk to her. And she's dead and she's dying in hell. Thank you for letting me know. <sighs> Stop. Everybody stop. It's not it's it should not real. Be replaced with a Sans who just says she she's burning in hell. Don't worry about it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Sans Sans will be straight with you on that. Okay, so okay. Mediums are shit. They're all garbage. Okay. Let's all see. mediums I, I, and I psychics are just though. con artists. It's true. Yeah. Yeah. I, I I yeah, they are con artists. They're con artists and stupid, but they're aesthetically really pre- pleasing and and like spooky and like I always want to get my I want to go and get my magic ball read and so I it can just be like <laughs> some things will happen in your future. I I can feel it. It's shit. 
You know, not <laughs> just just things uh-huh. will occur. I, I guys, guarantee it. <laughs> have any of you guys gone into one of those because like your parents were there and it's like, hey, let's do it. This would be fun, or like a friend or something. And you go in there like, uh, and you're like, you are the the stereotypical. I don't believe in this ghost stuff the whole time. Yeah, yeah. I don't know. I don't think I've actually done that, but I've certainly felt it. I certainly thought it while I was there. I hope they I mean, picked I, up my thought I feel, I've, I feel that in church, unironically. <laughs> <laughs> oh, do you, do you still have to go to church, Munchie? Do you have to go uh, to church I, I used to until, mm. I, until, I, until I broke my conditioning. That, that's I, didn't, do it I didn't let the Zionists control my brain anymore. I, my I, brain. I, went until I, was, I went until I was like 16 or something. I got confirmed, so... Uh... Isn't it yeah. isn't it crazy well, that people like uh, like when you're a child they try to like get you wedded to the idea so that you can't leave you know it's yep. like it's the whole it's, thing with like a being a um, it's that thing with the, if you're a Muslim and you try to leave like you know it's it's not good they uh, downvoted on Reddit um yeah. and same with you know <laughs> they'll like, shave your beard <laughs> yeah uh, really close it'll be a very close shave like Sweeney Todd <laughs> um yeah okay that uh, I can love you ghosts Mumkey tell me your spook stories. Well, first I wanted to say about these okay. mediums and these psychics. Mm-hmm. Back when I was doing a video over a documentary called My Monkey Baby, there's a scene <laughs> where a psychic, uh, she's like an, an animal psychic, oh. who can talk to the woman's oh. monkey and tell her if the monkey ate her pills and all this oh retarded God. shit. Oh, yeah, okay, I remember okay. watching this, yeah. Me too. So I wanted to prank call one, and all the places I called, of course, like didn't answer, like they didn't put up with my bullshit. Mm-hmm. But I looked at the prices... And they charged, these motherfuckers, these con artists were charging $25 for every 15 minutes of advice. I thought you were going to say hour, and I was going to be like, that's not that bad, but okay, yeah, fuck that shit. $100 Hundred dollars an hour to talk to these con artists. If you're if you're good at manipulating people, that's the career field to jump into. Hell, I want to go do it's that just, shit. It's just such a parasitic thing to take advantage of people's like gullibility. It's it's it, not. It, yeah, I think it, it takes. A or is it type is it just natural person. selection at work though? But the problem is like because <laughs> of our goddamn welfare state, the dumb people keep living and breeding, and we're gonna get overrun with shitty people it, who believe well, in then, Jesus. Then Nate, Nate, isn't Thanks it your Obama. Nate, Thanks Nate, Obama? Yeah, isn't it your responsibility? then to bleed to them, them out of their money so they have no choice but to die in the streets after they've floundered even their state given money aren't yeah, you doing god's work for. but they'll get on fucking welfare and they'll drain it from the top they'll drain it from the earners okay i'm getting on a weird political <laughs> rant let's uh, <laughs> let's not uh let's not get into that shit right now what are you saying gib what's up well I, I was saying like i feel like it takes a certain special type of person who does kind of believe in it to 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 con mm-hmm. these people because i can't yeah, imagine yeah. somebody who does know that it's bullshit actually making any money doing it and oh, not, not not due to guilt on. no 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 okay. no, no. Why, i, I feel i feel mm-hmm. like you have to kind of believe it too much because the, the the way it is is that these people these they keep it up like so much that it's it's hard to imagine that they don't believe it hardcore dude 91 dude that they just yeah well, like they indoctrinate themselves you know it's it's it makes sense to kind of condition yourself to to unbreak the it, conditioning you, if you have will, to be a and, really good actor and if you're doing that yeah oh, yeah, yeah but they know that there's not a ghost telling them things in their ear they're just making shit up yeah, but so how can they, they have that they, cognitive they, dissonance yeah but they're making shit up but they believe that the thoughts that they're making in their heads are things that are being planted by spirits uh, I don't know. and shit i think there are definitely I people who do that, that. Humans but i think are really they're good at tricking themselves. I'm sorry, Tom. Going, going, going. I was gonna say no. I think there's both. I think there's definitely people who think that the, just the random thoughts that come to them during those those whatever you know encounters are actually the dead. But I think there are other people who are acutely aware of like I'm fucking this person over for twenty five dollars every like, fifteen minutes. I feel like the 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 ratio is more in favor of people who believe that it's working. Hmm. Because I don't know. That's to, called it's because, because, because to be that like to be uh, say to be successful in doing that. You have to be a really good actor, and I don't know how many good actors there are doing that. You know, I, I'm inclined to believe, Gib. I, I agree. I think people are really good at, at, at doing that. But, you know, even if they don't actually believe, there's also, like, they could think that, like, because I've heard some people say that they are, like, entertainers. And so, like, they're here to, like, That's oh, the legal defense they have to I, give. I fucking hate that so much. That fucking yeah. cowardly... Fuck, just ad- just admit. Just say you're a goddamn actor and it's all a lie. Don't be like, oh, I'm an entertainer. Like, it's up to people to believe what they want. F- like that dude who wears that weird uh, giant, like, blonde wig, poofy hair thing. You know, that guy was in that H3H3 video. Oh, those fucking cowards. Bunch of fucking cowards. Um... Yeah, there's a Dateline NBC special about this where they mm-hmm. went undercover and like they paid this psychic lady 
thousands of dollars for crystals and magic rocks and yeah. all this oh, bullshit. Yeah, I can't get in on that, bro. <laughs> yeah, yeah, you, do, yeah you should. <laughs> it's the perfect job and, for and munch. Of, and of course, like for, I mean, I, I, I'm just going on a thing, but like there's the James Randi Foundation that for, for like decades was offering like a $1 million prize if you can just prove any of this shit's real in any way and nobody ever <laughs> fucking did. Nobody <laughs> took the million dollars because they're fucking lying. They're all fucking liars. And, of course. Uh, what can you do? Woo. Okay. All right, here's my dad's ghost story. Word. So it's a tragic story because oh. when my brother, or I guess when my dad was 15, his brother was fucking shot to death on oh the street God. by some. Yeah, it's it's pretty sad. This g- gangbanger piece of shit. And no, I'm not shit. just telling the story of uh, that movie again. Um, oh, that's <laughs> the first Moonlight. thing I thought you were going to do. I'm not again. telling Moonlight again. <laughs> this is real life events. Okay, all right. If you say so. So, <laughs> so it's a year later. My dad's 16. Mm. On the one year anniversary of his brother being shot to death, he is driving to school with his friend, and they look. There's a big semi truck like behind them. They see it in the re- rearview mirror, mm-hmm. and they swear to God. To this day, my my father still believes this that the guy driving the truck was his dead brother. So what, what do they do? Mm. They're driving to school. They turn that fucking car around yeah. and they spend the next hour and a half following that truck, trying to catch up to it. When they finally do, they look in the window. No, it's just some old guy. It's just some old man. Uh, so my, my dad now <laughs> thinks that it was a ghost. Uh, his brother's ghost was driving a semi truck, and I, I'm like, okay, Dad, I'm not gonna make fun of you to your face, yeah, but that's yeah. retarded. That's a, that's a bit silly, but yeah, that's, you know, that that seems like kinda, the kind of stuff people believe, you know. Yeah, it's, it's, it's kind of cute. I mean, both him and his friend swear they saw the brother's face, and it was the one year anniversary. So, can you even blame my dad for believing this shit? It's like too much of a coincidence that they both well, saw it. I think that's that 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 the I, one year and... of thing. I've, I've, my dad has a, a story where he, you know, he backs it up by saying. Um, yeah, it was him and his sister. They both saw the same thing, and it was like a spooky man mm. or, or something. And you know, it's, <laughs> and uh, and but but at the same time, he he tells that story, and then at the end, he says, "But it was probably just you know a car passing by and the light f- sh- shining through the window mm. somewhere and going down the hallway." Yeah, yeah, yeah. So he knows that it's probably not real and it's just something. But he he still likes the freakiness of it. How how bo- how two people saw exactly the same thing and thought it was this exact same thing. And then they were mm, like, ah. Mm. So, yeah, I don't yeah, know. Yeah, I mean, that does make it weird. I, it it, it I, makes yeah. it seem very convincing if two people yeah. come to the same conclusion about something. There are, though, I mean, just, you know, again, to beat my own dick about this stuff, because uh, I've, I've done a lot of reading about it. Like, there are, there are tons of things that have happened historically. Like, there are phenomenon where I think, in, in, like, there was a South American village one time where, like, the entire village witnessed, like, something happen. Like, the sun, like... They saw the face of God, like, over the surface of the sun. Like, everyone in the village did this at the exact same time. But, like, there are there are many ways to explain it besides, like, God exists and decided to look at this village from the sun one time. You know, it could have been, like, a sunspot or, like, some sort of visual phenomenon. Right, also, like, it also could knows? be, like, the, the power of, um, you know, if, mm-hmm. people, if everybody says they saw something and then you feel like, well, I Mass saw delusion. it too. Yeah. 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 They that's, just want right. to be part of the group. Entirely, yeah. See, there, there's just so many problems. You, ha- you have to, like, isolate. If you want me to believe any of this shit, people, you gotta make a fucking proof, and there has never been any ever, so good luck with that. But yeah, <laughs> okay, cool. Um, uh, one time I was possessed by the devil. Uh-huh. How'd that go? Uh, Did you speak well, it's it's right still now ongoing. And... What are you talking <laughs> yeah, yeah, about? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but besides my continuous one that continues to this day, I, I, right now I'm just being possessed by, by a lowly ghost, but I, I was once at Beelzebub's court himself. Sick uh, dog. Uh, I was I was over to like like test out my cousin's new house that they bought a while ago. It's like you know you know bash some shit in you know break some windows and you know, get get it home broken. Yeah, man. As in breaking the home, and uh, <laughs> I, I I became like incredibly ill for no. And they live in the high desert, so everything's like super dry and and, mm-hmm. and like hot all the time. So I got I got I got a mad fever, a, a, a delirious fever, mm-hmm. and uh, I I my like I could barely see. It was all like fuzzy, like even fuzzier than if you like took off your glasses and then like poured uh, Clorox in your face, which I do every <laughs> single day to practice okay. my religion. Uh, <laughs> It, but it was it was awful. I could barely hear anything, and uh, I slipped in and out of consciousness a ton. And I just thought, well, you know, this is probably the devil. I, like, like you know, okay. I I have mm-hmm. a fever. The the devil probably gave me a fever. That's probably what is occurring right now. <laughs> so uh, I might as well be possessed. I might I might as well go all out and just allow myself to be possessed. So I I was just like, all right, 
Uh, prove to me, God, if you're real, make the devil be real too, please. And uh, so I, 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 all I could think about for like the next like hour, like like day, like a day, was just about how like okay, the devil's in my head now, and he wants me to fucking kill all my friends and family. That's what he wants. And uh, I, I couldn't God. move or anything. So I, all I could do was just, like, watch I Love Lucy and, like, think about how the devil is c- commanding me to, like, wow. like just, like, fucking get a knife and, and kill everyone near me and, and then watch more I Love Lucy and Fresh Prince of Bel-Air and, like, fucking Transformers. <laughs> And it was the greatest experience of my life. And, uh, and, and you know, after my fear went away and the, and the devil subsided, the, the devil now, like, lives inside my body, but he doesn't have full control. Uh, every, every once in a while, he'll, he'll come back into uh, my headspace. He'll, he'll become, he's one of my most prominent headmates. And uh, every, uh, right. every, every yes. once in a while, he, t- he takes a little front. <laughs> and uh, it's pretty great. And I would recommend to everyone, please let the devil into your heart, is all I have to say on the matter of the uh, devil. All right. Well, sick, dog. Um, let me, uh, okay, here, let me tell you my, the only story I have. It's not me, again, it's my dad, um, and it's about the Holy Ghost. Uh, it's not about, Oh, uh, boy. Fuck. Yeah, uh, so, like. Have you killed your dad yet? My, well, I mean, he didn't even put it in those terms. He, like, my dad is a religious guy, which I continue to find baffling because he's so what smart. What a dork. I don't, I don't understand how anyone intelligent, uh, believes. Okay, but, but, like, I, one day while I was grilled him, and I'm like, Dad, you gotta tell me, like, I don't understand why you believe in any of this shit. You gotta tell me, because... I'm, I'm, see, I'm drawing a blank here, Dad. What's the deal? And he's like, okay, Nate, I've had some experiences in my life that made me think there's some spooky shit going on. And here's, uh, <laughs> here's, here's, here's the one that, that he chose. This was his best example, okay? So it was, um, he's, he's uh, with, like, I believe my mom and uh, her sisters, like my aunt. Don't, don't remember which one. And they were hanging out, and they were, like, in a city somewhere. I don't know which one. And like all, so they're just they're about to cross the road, right? They're just standing there, uh, ready to cross this fucking road, and like, um. Like, so my, my mom and her sister, like, start to walk across because they don't see a fucking car coming. And then, like, according to my dad, he felt something. He felt a presence warning him, specifically warning him that, like, something bad's about to happen. Stop them. You know, pull them back. And he listened to it, and he grabbed them, and he pulled them back. And then, like, a car came by. Like, oh, shit, they would have died or something Could if, that if he hadn't done it. have just been a bit of an intuition that's, I mean, that was, of course, I, I didn't challenge him because I could tell he was, you know, he's deep into the shit, unfortunately, and there's no way I can convince him just by arguing. Uh, but, like, yeah, I mean, there obviously there are plenty of other things that could have been going on in, in the man's brain I just, I to just, make I him... just feel like like something like that, you, so, you could have thought to yourself, uh, yeah, I'm so cool and I have spidey senses, that's why I saved their life. No, it was yeah. some other guy. It was just some god. He did but, it. I mean, I'm not actually cool. <sighs> Why do you I have know, to do it, that? Why can't you be Spider-Man? Why I do know, people it, it think sucks. they're not Spider-Man? <laughs> I, I think the only reason, the, 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 the emphasis I got from it was like that it was like a voice that he heard. Like that seemed to be like the impression I got from how he told the story. And that's why he like attributed it to like God. And I, I asked him, so like, why are you into Christianity? Like, what? And he's like, well, I'm not really, I mean, who, those, who the fuck knows if that shit's real? But like, I did feel like it was like a godly presence or something. So, uh, so that's good. Cause like, why would you ever believe that like one specific religion is true if you don't have any actual evidence for it, guys? So, uh, you just remember, guys, you, you know, happen to be in the religion that your parents are cause it's a fucking cultural thing. You were just raised that way. It's not fucking real. Break the conditioning. Okay. Break the conditioning. The, you know, the, the whole like hearing voices in the head thing. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. I think a lot of people who say they hear voices hear a voice which is them with their which is their inner monologue and the uh, the only reason they say the words out loud in their head mm-hmm. um is because they they've read that people hear voices and that's what they think god is so they when they when they have an intuition and they think i should probably change this they think to themselves you should stop doing that i'm god and they're like oh my god god's speaking to me but it's just them but they yeah, just man. put the voice in their head because they think it's, that's what a voice, you know, that's what's supposed to I'm, happen. I'm telling you, man, it's that it's that human, like, we uh, humans have an incredible uh, capacity for pattern recognition and, like, anthropomorph- I, anthropomorphization I lo- I, of, like, I love anything. thinking about it. I love thinking about why people do it. I love thinking about mm-hmm, ghosts. Mm-hmm. I love thinking about spooky shit. I love it all. I, it's so yeah, cool. It's I great. don't even hate it. I don't even think it's stupid. It's great. I, I, can I, the I, thumbnail for this... Can the thumbnail for this episode be Danny Phantom tipping his fedora? <laughs> if such yeah. an image exists. <laughs> no, Hip- uh, Hippo's going to draw it for us. Oh, okay. <laughs> yeah, well. I-, I will draw it by copy-pasting a fedora onto an image of Danny Phantom. <laughs> that, sounds, that sounds perfect. That sounds perfect. Do uh, it. 
if we're talking about our parents now, my yeah. mother is a gold mine of uh, gullible actions oh and, and and insanities. <laughs> yes. I mean, uh, you you convinced her to let you go to fucking BronyCon alone yeah, yeah. when you were like twelve. So absolutely yeah. delusional. Oh boy. <laughs> oh boy. <laughs> you know, completely out of her mind. I'm sure she's just putty in your hands, much. You should do with <laughs> oh, what you will. <laughs> oh, oh, you know it, bro. You know it. I I I I have those mad manipulation skills, bro. I have I'm mad, absolutely mad. I can imagine. Now, mom, where are my tendies, mom? Where's my slime? Where's my ecto coolers? Okay, go on, go on. Where's my, where's my fucking juice? <laughs> yeah. My uh, soup, my correspondence. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Hell yeah, where's no. my crystals? I need them to do a baptism over the internet, mom. <laughs> I'm, going, I'm going to a J.O. sesh right now, mom. I need my crystals. Okay. Okay. Uh, anyway. Tell us the tale. Uh, so we never been, uh, she's never been that religious. She grew up religious, but she, like, it's not that she doesn't, you know, mm. she isn't religious herself. She's just too lazy to convince me to be one. <laughs> That's good. That's that yeah. preferred. Preferred. So, so we go to church a little bit, but, you know, not, not, not too often. Mostly just for Easter and, you know, big events. But anyway, she had a sort of like like second wave, you know, like second win, like oh, I'm gonna I'm gonna be religious mm-hmm. again. It's gonna it's gonna be really really gonna be it, mm-hmm. like a couple of years ago. And uh, instead of just like getting back into like a church, she uh, started researching online for like what what is Jesus really? What is like real Jesus? Okay, uh, all right, all right. And, She's breaking uh, the she conditioning got... a little bit. Yeah. Oh yeah. Oh oh, dude. The conditioning is fucking shattered by by the point by the end of the story. That's sick, conditioning God. is non-existent. Anyway, so she so she finds out like all the uh, the the mysticism, the 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 modern mysticism. You know, like you. Mm-hmm. I'm, I'm talking. You know, you got your cosmic beings with light powers. You got your you know church no. of euthanasia. You got your fucking no. uh, you know uh, what, what's that guy's name? Something something Applewhite. You got those kind of people. You got that one uh, uh, Colton Colton Tokyo that tried to you know. <laughs> release the sarin gas on the yeah you know, right the bus. blue happy that, guys that, right. that kind of shit mm-hmm. you know uh like like crystals and uh, all that kind of stuff which is where like i was you know i i had known about that culture but for my mom you know starting to practice i really got like a taste for it and uh, i realized yeah, it was my favorite yeah. thing in the entire world <clears throat> oh okay okay and uh you know i i i love crystals and i love chakras <laughs> uh they're my favorite it led me to find spirit science my greatest discovery of all time yep and uh, the rest is history but from her uh, she created a sort of like monument to Jesus, but not like when you th- like not, not like Jesus, Jesus, more like like slime, Je- like ghost Jesus, <laughs> like like the super like super Jesus, basically. Right. right. And it it was it was basically just like a, a bunch of JPEGs of Jesus, but, like super cross posterized, so it's just like fucking un- undecipherable and uh, a ton like like it was just like neon green uh, cardboard. <laughs> Like slab, I guess, with a ton of JPEGs of uh, Jesus, you know, pasted on, and just some like, um, if you believe hard enough, Jesus is real, and uh, yes. and, 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 yes. and like fucking like in, in like Microsoft Word, like uh, like Word art, like change it to look, like make it look cool. Your well, uh, your mother like is a, a master of, of aesthetics, dude. This sounds yeah, yeah, amazing. Yeah. Okay, okay, it's incredible, and just a just a ton of crosses, but like most of them are broken, and they had and she had to glue them back together. <laughs> And uh, it's it just just a bunch of like literal just rocks, but like are like <laughs> somewhat somewhat sparkly if you put them in the right light. Uh, and yeah, just a ton of shit like that. And she hung it like over her wall. Uh, and the and the way the house is positioned, well, she she hung it like her door would always be open, and it, like you could like see. Mm-hmm. Uh, tr- trust me when you say uh, every time I had to go to the kitchen, I had to look at that fucking poster of Jesus. Okay. <laughs> uh, you know, Jesus, just just believe hard enough, and Jesus is real. Jesus is magic. You are magic. And if and if you just fucking align your chakras and go vegan, then you'll be able to see <laughs> the spirits. You'll you'll be able to see in four D, bro. You'll be able to get all four dimensions. Yes. Yes, <laughs> and and she was super into it, and she and she kept w- w- when uh, when we visited Denver a while ago to visit family. She was like, you know, this is pretty good, you know, being with family. But but I but I have a seminar I need to go to, and uh, you know, you j- j- just hang out, mm-hmm. just hang out around Denver while while I go to this this cool ass seminar where uh, the, the the Dalai Lama you know jacks off all over me, and I, I'm able to find I'll be able to speak Sick. I'll be able to speak to Nazis in their sleep. And I'll be able to, I'll be able to find out where Hitler stands. <laughs> Ash's fucking gold, and, 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 where, and, where, 
and where Hitler's like personal fitness trainer like st- like like got all the uh, crosses in the nation together and made like one super cross. And I'll, I'll be able I'll be able to know everything, bro. I'll be able to I'll be able to personally fund global warming myself. I'll be that I'm ghost ready. powerful. And uh, she did it, and this continued for a while until I was just like, uh, you know, you should probably, you know, that's not really a good idea. I don't think. So she went to like a bunch of seminars, or it was just one? Yeah. Okay. No, okay. a bunch. Right. Mm-hmm. Like, yeah. Well, by a bunch, I mean like. One, one time, my mom went like to a Harry seven. Potter seminar in Canada. That was pretty oh, cool. Oh no. Yeah, by herself. By herself. I mean, I mean, I mean, that's cool. gonna give her mad spirituality. No you know, doubt, dog. No witches doubt. and shit, bro. <laughs> yeah. Shit's crazy. But uh, yeah, it, eventually she kind of tapered off because uh, she 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 read something like one of like the leaders she was like listening to about spirituality had like raped like seventy children. Yes, yes. Yeah, he's got to absorb <laughs> that ectoplasm from him. He's, he's got to do it, dude. Ghosts are living inside children's testicles. He just needs to get inside, bro. That's and, uh, okay. That's and cool. and she was like, uh, well, you know, I guess I, it's still it's still like real. But, uh, you know, I, I might just focus on other stuff. Yeah, okay. <laughs> uh, anyway, uh, great, and, and thank, thank you, Mother, for allowing me to understand spirit science, the Aww, only thing that matters yeah. in the world, and uh, align my chakras uh, to such the extent that I have. But, uh, dude, if you think my Christ consciousness is, is like, high, her uh-huh. chakras were so fucking blissed that it was hard <laughs> to even look at her. She was just like a glowing, a glowing white fucking, like, spectacle to observe. Fuck yeah. She was on level, like, eight, bro. Like, level eight. Holy shit. All right. Yeah. Well, you got to get her on one day to really weigh in on this shit. Yeah. When, when we start our long-awaited uh, our spirit science analysis series, uh, you mm-hmm. know, we'll get the expert in. Mm-hmm. Well, that, that's, that's dope. Um, yeah, it's great. Well, shit, team. Uh, what, can we come to any conclusions here? What what have we learned here today? Uh, about... The Pirates of the Caribbean, the first movie with the uh-huh. pirate ghost, that's really good because they're yes. also skeletons, skeletons, but they're ghosts as well. I was about to say well. they're skeletons they're, and no, ghosts. They're, they're not even ghosts. They're not even dead for real. They're all they're alive. Dead. They're just they're, they're dead. They're cursed. They're, they're dead not alive even pee-pee. full skeletons. They're uh, barely even. We're all full skeletons on the inside. <laughs> That's true. <laughs> they're, they're they're fake fans, if you will. They're fake fans of being a ghost. <laughs> Not that's, of, that, like, fans true. of the idea of being a ghost, but they are fake fans of, like, being a ghost, that they are a ghost. Right. Pretty okay. gay. <laughs> yes. uh, Pretty gay. All right, boys. My belief... Worst ghost of all time. Ooh. Moaning Myrtle. Uh, Wait, did you say worst? Mm, worst. Yeah. She's saying mo- worst. Mo- moaning Myrtle. She worst ghost bad. of all time. She's pretty bad. I mean, I was, never, I was never Casper. too impressed by... Uh, Casper's all right. You know, he was plucky. He was adventurous. Yeah, friendly. He's a punk ass bitch. He didn't tell me where all he didn't tell me where all the gold was. <laughs> he wasn't he, he a forty year old the, woman the pretending to be jail bait floating around a girl's locker room for sure. That uh well, that's why I like Moaning Myrtle. Uh you know, I, I No I gotta say I, you. I've never been a fan of nearly headless Nick. Like, okay, he's a nice guy, but like I'm never gonna get over the fact that he got cucked out of the whole headless thing. He's just he'll never He'll never be a full headless boy. He will never achieve that. But and yeah, I'll well, always... why does that make him the worst? Because he sucks. Yeah, I think he's Because he funny. can't even do it right. He can't do anything right. Instead of tipping his hat, he tips his whole fucking head. It's yeah, amazing. Uh, you could do that if you were headless, he's too, He's played though. by John Cleese, the famous John Cleese. John... Yeah, he was in Rat Race. I love Rat Race. And nothing else. Rat Race is my favorite movie. Um, Me too, dude. We should listen. <laughs> Can analyze. we do a Rat Race episode? We, we absolutely have to do I a Rat Race. I love Rat Race. It was my favorite movie growing up. Um, yeah, me too. Well, that's what we learned, guys. Uh, Rat Race is the greatest movie it's ever made. It's the best movie. <laughs> <laughs> it's so I, good. Uh, I think my favorite ghost is myself. Mm-hmm. Okay. In the future, when I become a ghost, which will Oh, happen. wait, wait. I, I have the worst ghost. Arania, Arania Circuit? How, how do you say it? Oh, Arania. Arania Circuit. Arania circuit? Aran- I Aran- always thought it was Arania. It might actually be Arania. Okay, whatever. We know the one. Spider Bitch number two, right? Yes. Yeah. I the mean, second one. She was not that. She was really sexual, and Jake should have fucked her. I don't know. There was gay. something wrong with her. There's something wrong. I don't know what it was. I mean, what was wrong about her was that she turned into like this evil psycho for no reason. And yeah, uh, but even before that, she was just sort of like, I'm, I'm, <laughs> I'm so smart. I'm that's so because smart. All, all of the Dan sisters are the worst character ever yes. made. That's not Every true. Every single one. Uh, Mina sucks. Wait, wait. Uh, who's a good no, one? No, Mina's all right. No, Mina's the literally the best character. You take that back, you piece of she shit. Sucks. Mina is she literally sucks shit. she is only number two to Roxy in terms of girls and Homestuck. She's great. She's fantastic. Awful. I love her. Dude, no, just no, just because no, you're a race traitor doesn't mean we're all race traitors, Nate. 
Look, just because Vriska couldn't hack it and, and got blown the fuck out by how badass Mina was, and Vriska was like, Oh, no, I, why don't you love me? I'm just gonna pretend I'm as cool as you, Mina. God, that was so pathetic, Vriska trying to be cool like Mina all along. Fuck you, Vriska. Do you Vriska. remember when Andrew Hussey got literally cucked in canon and he, like, watched them have sex and, like, was no. literally cucked? That sa I do remember that in general. That was great. Uh, yeah. upvoted. Right, we should probably stop talking about stuff that Mon uh, Monkey and Tom have no idea what it is. Yeah, you're right. Okay, let let's go to our questions here, all right? It's time for questions. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Oh, time wait, out, wait. time out. Before yeah? the questions, okay. I got a bit. Okay. Go for it. We did a very official Twitter poll. Who is the worst oh, PCP member? Oh, shit. <laughs> and we've got the full results. Oh, shit. Yeah. How, 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 how many votes? How many votes did we Man, get to vote? Man, I didn't Just even for... get to vote. We got uh, 850 votes total. Okay, pretty oh, that's good. That's pretty good. That's a so pretty good sample. Should I go in order from most hated to least hated or least hated to most hated? I mean, hated? let's go from least hated and then go okay. all the way up to our winner, the most hated member. <laughs> okay, so with 16 votes, the least hated PCP member is Hippo. Hey! hey. 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 What do you know? Who are those what 16 you know? people? I'll kill them. That's, a, that's, a, <laughs> <laughs> that's an all. easy amount of people to kill. 16? Those are, I can do yeah. that. Those are all my alt accounts. I'll turn but... them into ghosts. <laughs> okay, keep going. Who's next? Next we have with 21 votes, Mr. Best Guy Ever. Uh, yeah. All right. I, yeah, I'm actually shocked. I'm actually shocked by that because I talk so much. You just think that's a lot of material for people to hate me with. But hey, thanks, guys. Appreciate it. Then we have Mage at 55 votes. I guess mm -hmm. they don't like women because there's nothing to hate about Mage. Those are the 55 misogynists in our, in our yeah. audience. Yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. so Such so a small number. I know. Pretty good. Pretty good. At 73 votes, we have Mr. Tom Oliver. Yeah. I'm so gay. you might have noticed, <laughs> most of the least hated people are on this podcast, and I have a feeling the other two participants might be on the other <laughs> end of the screen. <laughs> Let's find out. Alrighty, uh, I think this is, it's like sixth place, whatever. It's mm -hmm. uh, Digibro at 73, oh, Digibro and Tom are tied at 73 votes. What do oh, you know? really? Oh, shit, what do you know? Their, their, their destined uh, bond continues to this day. Mm -hmm. It's true. All right, the fifth curious. most hated member is Endless Jess at 85. You know, Jess was leading that poll for a while, so uh, all things considered, I think he came out pretty pretty well. Pretty well. Good job, then Jesse. We have, uh, <laughs> <laughs> uh, we have D Davu at 92 votes. 92. What can you and hate about Davu? There's nothing these are all, hate about So Davu. far, those are all people with less than 100. Now yeah, we go to yeah. the people with the big votes, baby. <laughs> I'm ready. I'm ready. Lay it on me. Tied for second place Whoa. at 133 votes each Holy is shit. both Mr. Ben Saint and Mr. Munchie. Yeah. Yeah. Well, that's, our, was, our union continues to this day. Oh. Our was, spicy bro pack. I was really was sad. I was really sad Ben didn't win this one. I was really rooting for Ben. I voted for Ben <laughs> yeah. on all my devices that I could. <laughs> I, I really did. I really did. And the undisputed, most hated PCP member mm -hmm. with 163 votes is Monkey Oh shit, he Joe. cut out right at the climax. <laughs> Monkey Damn. Damn. You cut out at the goddamn won. climax. We'll never know who was so number one. I'm so proud of his accomplishment. Uh, shit, is he just gone? Is oh, he just dead? Yeah. Oh, no. you, you totally cut yeah, out there. Bro. Just repeat that oh. whole thing. <laughs> well, they all heard it, but it's me, Monkey Jones. I won. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Monkey Jones did it. Way to go. Yeah. yeah. You are. <laughs> what our audience didn't victory. realize with that poll is that you're not allowed to hate any of us, so you're all dead. We're going to kill you all. <laughs> yeah. You're all turning into ghosts. <laughs> you're all banned. <laughs> you're all going ghost. Uh, fucking ghosted. Shit, we should have done the second poll so we'd have the other results. Maybe th this this uh, week we'll do the opposite poll and see how that yeah, goes. Yeah, yeah. That's good. Oh, uh, wait, wait, wait. Before we go to questions, mm -hmm. uh, Ghostbusters 2 is my favorite uh, movie of all time besides the other ones that I like a lot. For a lot of reasons. <laughs> Number uh -huh. one, Slimer is there. Number two, there's a sea of slime. There's like a ton of slime. <laughs> Number three, they use slime to control the Statue of Liberty. Much like how I use my influences with slime to uh, destroy and dismantle local government and slowly take over the country and control and, women yeah and control women and blacks and whites especially <laughs> white people uh and uh you know I, I i just control everyone with my with my intense charisma uh my intense slime based charisma dude dude fucking the power rangers first movie has so much slime in it it was the dude, big I giant slime man 
I would probably love. No, you should definitely watch that. Slime controls people, and it's. It great. wasn't slime though. It was ooze. There's a there's a distinct oh, difference. Ooze and slime are, are close allies at the very least. Yeah. You yeah. Know? <laughs> um, by the way, guys, if you smash centipedes, then you'll get you'll get like a couple exp, and you'll get mad slime. So crush oh, all the centipedes God. you can. Reach into your spine and then tear out the centipede that's controlling your thoughts. And oh then live no! <laughs> don't. Oh God! Don't 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 pull out that Toblerone, folks. Leave it alone in and, there. And Ghostbusters 2 is also good because, like, a baby almost dies. <laughs> Fantastic. Um, yes. All right, let's go to our questions, all right? Here, here we go, everybody. Uh, here's number one. At Adamuelfa asks, thoughts on Crystal Pepsi? Did you try it? Did you like it? Are you a fan of the concept of clear cola in general? Love how specific this one is. This is a great question. <laughs> He's really obsessed with he wa- Crystal he Pepsi. He wants this discussed. Uh, I love the idea of Crystal Pepsi, of cola that is clear. I think it's the coolest thing in the world. Isn't that what 7-Up and Sprite are? Well, th- those aren't cola. Those are, uh, like, fruit fruit drinks instead, you know? Oh, okay. Mm-hmm. It's about, um, I've never yeah. tried Crystal Pepsi, but I would love to. Is, does yeah, it have a different flavor, or is it the same thing? It's got to taste different, right? Yeah. Have, have any of us actually tried this? Does, has anyone tried Crystal I Pepsi? I have not. None of us have. Oh, this is a disgrace. Oh, wait, wait, wait. No, um, I haven't tried it, but... I would say to this person who asked this mm-hmm. question, check out the Examined Life of Gaming YouTube channel. Um, yeah. He makes he makes uh, reviews of sodas. He's called it's called the New Do Review. I think he tried uh, Crystal Pex, uh, Pepsi in a recent video, like it was a like a, a new thing. I don't know. And he tried it and he Sick. reviewed it. He reviews <laughs> sodas and 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 video games, and you might like what he has to say. Pretty great. <laughs> Fantastic. He's got a place to go for his Crystal Pepsi fandom. All right. Um, well, while I have never tried Crystal mm-hmm, Pepsi, mm-hmm. I have about, you know, I, I would say about 48 bottles here, all blessed by a priest, so they're holy, uh, ho- holy water. Is this what you use instead Pepsi. of actual crystals because you can't afford them? Yeah, yeah. I, I can't afford the okay. actual crystals. They're too hard to mine from Africa, and I don't want to wind up dead in a ditch trying to get them, so I might as well, you know, just buy a ton of Crystal Pepsi. I mean, it has crystal in the name, so, you know, it's sure, probably, it's, it's probably the has the same properties. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Uh, so I just pour that all over my body when I'm trying to get an extra boost. It's a good plan. Good plan. Yeah. Um, okay, here we go. More questions from uh, the world's greatest uh, procrastinators fan artist, uh, Ms. At Jane Moreau asks, uh, do you guys like camping? It's Jade Moreau, yeah. What did, what did I say? Did I say Jay? You said Jane. 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 I said, That's what a the different fuck? Why would I say character. Jane? Oh, I fucked. Okay, I'm sorry, Jade. I love your work, Jade. At Jade Moreau says, do you guys like camping slash hiking? Who's who's a Fuck camp guy? No. No? no. Are we all city boys? Are we all city slickers? I in here? have camped. I have camped a couple times. Mm-hmm. Uh, quite a few times in a in a tent and in and shit. And I mm-hmm. do love. I do love a big old. If I see a hill and I got some shoes and they're not wet shoes and they're like good <laughs> good walking shoes, uh-huh. I will climb all the way to the top of that hill and then all the way back down and be like, oh, I don't know why why I did that, but I like it. <laughs> <laughs> so so I love hiking. Um, it's it's fun because I just you know. It's it's good. So I, I I guess I do. Yeah, I, do I don't like mind that. going for a nice little nature hike or mm-hmm, to mm-hmm. go exploring. But there is there's no excuse to ever sleep anywhere other than my comfy bed. Why yeah. would I want to sleep outside in the it's, dirt? It's pretty not good. But um, I I appreciate the the feeling of waking up in uh, really early to to the bird song and the the cold air and it's like oh yeah yeah early man i'm 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 like coming out of my cave and with my sticks and stones i'm going to build well, build uh, build my my life let me yeah. tell you guys i was in the boy scouts for a thousand years eagle scout represent and i did a thousand camping trips did a thousand hikes mountain climbing skiing all that kind of shit uh, i love camping i think camping is super fucking fun the only thing that's kind of a pain is you kind of got like put time time aside for it but it i i mean i'll take any excuse i can get to get out in nature cuz i just don't experience it whatsoever i fucking love going camping and and sleeping in there i mean i'm a guy who can sleep anywhere pretty comfortably so like the whole sleeping thing is never a problem for me i don't mind the kind of fuck of bugs i don't mind I, I like setting up my tent i like cooking outdoors on my grill i well, fucking love everything about it i haven't done all that sort of like like intense like doing everything yourself oh, yeah. sort of thing because mm-hmm. when i go camping it's like with a big camp troop like i said that's yeah, the agunary yeah. thing i was talking about they have like a they have a kitchen tent and they make breakfast for everyone mm-hmm. and you have patrol tents and, and and stuff where you just sit down you can just you know play with a rubik's cube while you wait for the next activity or something but um like literally going on a quest into the wilderness and living off like a cans of beans mm-hmm. i'm not sure i could do that 
But um, I do that I, without going into the woods. Ha, I'm the bean <laughs> boy. Yeah, okay. <laughs> when I was a little kid, uh, for like school, you had to like go on a camping trip. Like uh-huh. that was like there was like a camping trip a week that everyone went to a camp. Sure. And sure. Uh, uh, one of the many misadventures I had, uh, the most interesting one, was uh, I there was like a sculpture class where you got like a rock and you were supposed to mold it into you know something. Hmm. Uh, I got a twig, I got some tape, and I just made a hammer and I threatened to kill anyone who uh, looked at me. <laughs> well, that's sick, dog. Yeah. <laughs> uh, let's go to Jade's other question here. Uh, uh, hair goals. She simply states hair goals question mark in one word. Who's got hair mm-hmm. goals? Gib, do you have any hair? You're a hair guy. What are your uh, goals? I have hair on my head. Mm-hmm. I My goals are to keep it long until mm-hmm. it starts thinning too much and then shaving it all off because I don't want to be like a balding guy. I just want to go straight from having long hair to being bald. I don't want to go That's going to be that, a big change. That That's going to be a transformation. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And then uh, when i am like got no hair, I'm going to grow my beard out, so I'm going to be like opposite. I'm going to have a big beard, <laughs> big bushy beard. <laughs> And that's going to be like my hair just, you know, swiveled round. That's what happened. It's like Gibson. it's like a 3D model that just sort of glitched out the hair a bit. When Gib gets older, losing his hair, he like a 3D model. Okay, that's, uh, that's enough of that. Yeah, that's a good song. Uh, okay. He'll become Heisenberg. Yeah. Yeah. Anyone else have hair goals? I got none. I'm just going to do exactly what I'm doing. It's it's fine. I don't care. I, I want to get better facial hair. I've tried product. It doesn't work. My <sighs> face too. is perpetually broken, and it yeah. really pisses me off. Every time I see Gibbs' glorious beard, I just want to, like, cut it off and tape it on my face it. and pretend. You and me that's both, That's the best Tom. I'll ever get. It sucks. I hate it. Ah, yeah. You know, what? I'm totally, I totally forgot about that. But yeah, I can't grow a decent beard. So one day when I'm an old ass man, I want a big dumbly door beard. That'd be sick. That'd be I sick. want that now. Hell if I could yeah. go full yeah, right? Gandalf now, I would. Like yeah. not even. I could, I could potentially get a Dumbledore beard. Oh while my god! Really I really hate you. Yeah. I could. One of those sixteen people who voted. Really, it was me. Really it was me. Fucking... I voted because you had the beard. <laughs> <laughs> and. Like if we get get soup in it and twigs and it'd be her- horrible, horrible. <laughs> well, Shh, fuck you. <laughs> I want to look hey, exactly like Stephen Sugar, besides the beard part. Is but, that Rebecca Sugar's husband? Yeah, uh, okay. his brother, but close enough. Ba- oh. Basically the same. Thing. <laughs> All right, they had the Steve same sort of relationship. On. Hey, I've got a question. <laughs> yeah, from at Bottle Cape. And I really wish Jess was here because he has the best answer, but we'll do it without him. Mm-hmm. What do you think of your audiences, and what do you think of each other's? Uh oh. Hmm. Uh oh. Well. well, I think um, my audience, uh, the give and take audience, is like they're, they're nice people. That you know, I like them. They're good. They're nice. And the hypocrite audience is like people who are. Uh, they don't really know anything, but uh, they enjoy what I do. <laughs> like, they're not dumb, but they're just sort of, like, oblivious to the internet as a whole. And I'm uh-huh. like, well, you know, you stumbled across, upon this because you, you're, you you know, you, you, the, 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 the YouTube algorithm gave you my video because you're English, and uh, you also clicked on it because it's, like, something you know. So I got a lot of English fans who don't really know the internet very well. Uh-huh. But, uh, yeah. They're cool. You got a lot of uh, you got a lot of like Mary Poppins who are like, "What's this computer box? I'll try to <laughs> click on it and watch the game reviews." Oh, these are such yeah, silly children. Exactly true. <laughs> yes. <laughs> look at the. It's uh, your if you look at your demographics, it's like male, female, and then Mary Poppins is is a third <laughs> part of that. Yeah, epic joke. Okay. Um, let me see, Mumkey. Your audience is full of misogynistic, racist, bigoted pieces of shit. They're the worst yeah. people they, because they follow their leader. They know they know what you want, and they follow no. suit. You, you did no, this. No, no, You're no. Bad. If, any, if anybody here has an audience full of leader followers, it's literally everybody but me. You think I so? I click on any of your guys' <laughs> videos. It's it's an 80% like ratio to the views. That's true. Every comment is, oh, man, I love you. I can't wait to uh, buy one of your fucking stupid mugs, even <laughs> though the month was over. Oh, <laughs> you go to my channel. <laughs> It, it's like almost no likes like it's, it's probably 20 percent likes for the views and every fucking top comment is hey monkey fuck you <laughs> yeah hey monkey f- uh, this video is fucking shit yeah i know i mean i encourage it but i'm not gonna say that they're following the leader as opposed to your yeah. fucking your drones mm. and your audience is mm. over there Are you yeah, sure Nate, it's not fair? your audience yeah. is is they suck your dick way too hard i don't okay. get it way I don't too like it. Hard. The, the thing with my audience it's it's developing a bit like jesse's where like 
like the only thing I do is shit on them and tell them that they're gay. Uh, but I also give them like life advice, so they it's like a it's like a push pull going on there. And I think it makes they it endears myself to them. You know, I think there's some of that going on, which is good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, and I feel the same way about myself. Like, when I see someone who's got really great content, I'm like, yeah, I'm on board with this guy. I want to be like them. Of course, I, I'm mostly overdoing that because I've been on YouTube for a while now. And, uh, like, that's how it was with JonTron. And then, uh, oh, boy, then it turns out he's a goddamn bigot, a goddamn racist. And, uh, no, I, all, all that matters is that his content's boring. That's the only Have offense. you guys uh, seen the rumors that he's working at Bed Bath & Beyond now? That can't keeps, be true. What? He keeps posting pictures of products at Bed Bath & Beyond, but he's behind the register. I'm going to go check Whoa. this out. I don't believe that. He's got three I million subscribers, for fuck's sake. All he has to do is I just make, God. Just that would make be shitty. Unfortunate, but he also, should do. I, it, it, that's rent is very sad. expensive I think, in New I, York. I, I was about to think, like, oh, that's funny. He's fallen on hard times. Wait, that's kind of sad. That I is kind of sad. I don't believe it. I don't. I do not believe it. How is he making money, Tom? He hasn't made a video in three months. I, okay, I was I was actually looking this up the other day. I heard not he that, makes like I, I heard he makes like twenty five thousand dollars per video. That might be a totally made up number, but like with he does a lot of like ad stuff and sponsorship, and he gets paid a substantial amount per video that he does, as I understand it. I mean that's that's a made up number. I hate so. talking about John Tron. Fuck that guy. He's gay. <laughs> yeah, I mean really, uh, the only thing I care about is he doesn't make good content anymore, so I don't care. So fuck mm. that guy. He's gay. my my audience. To go back to that. Uh, is like small and cult like and very yes. devout and very like uh, superstitious and easily <laughs> manipulated and just you're the, describing just the way half I like of the it. PCP audience. That's I mean there's yeah. a lot of overlap there you know a lot of overlap. Yeah. When they uh, see there's a new arm yeah. retrieval, they're like, yes. Oh my fucking time. god. Uh, that's, that's, been, that's been like on hold like for that. a while now, so I hope they're uh, oh, happy. Yeah. <laughs> I, hope they're happy. <laughs> I am un uh, unironically one of those types. Um, for Red yes. Letter Media, that's dude. I'm a, I'm the biggest Fuck Red Arbor Letter Media fan in the world. Fuck yes. <laughs> uh, yeah, it's pretty great. I love them all. They're a little bit too memey for my taste, which may sound funny, mm, okay, uh, but okay. you know, I'm not. I'm not. I'm not. I'm. I contrary to popular belief, I'm not the biggest meme guy. I think. What? I think they're fine, but I'm I mean, not. What, what no, memes I'm not do they the perpetuate too much? Meme guy. Hillary, I no, love you. Not Hillary. <laughs> no. Uh, uh, Mumkey, can you? I'm sorry, Munchie. Can you just do me a favor? Can you give us a quick Aww. average value? You know, don't acknowledge it. Uh, if you, <laughs> <laughs> what, what's what would you say is the average Christ consciousness of your audience? You know, as as a whole, what would you put uh, that at? Pretty low. Pretty low. No, like, they got some work to do. One or two. Okay. Okay. So maybe you know, like level one or two. Yeah. Uh, there's probably like a few fours in there. Mm -hmm. uh, I would rate you guys like like, like a you know high five to a low six. Okay, good. All right, not bad. Yeah. Well, cool. Um, how about you, yeah. Tom? What do you think about your audience? Mm hmm. Yeah, they got pretty mad at you. Hey. <laughs> mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Ah, yeah. <laughs> mm-hmm. That seems to be the way mm -hmm. to go. I'm, you I'm, just need to be more potent, Tom. You're not I, potent enough. <laughs> you know... I've really been thinking about it, and I've come to the conclusion that, um, what's the, the benevolent, fuck, what's it, it's like the benevolent dictator is really the best kind of system of government you can hope for, and I've elected myself to this office, so I'm going to use my, yeah, that's, of course, of course, so I'm going to, uh, use my, my objectively best ideas, and uh, create a cult-like following around myself, and, and make, and indoctrinate them with the best ideas. They'll just be sheep, you know, they'll just be doing exactly what I tell them, but little do they know, I have their best interests in mind, as well as the world, and that's how it's gonna go, and it's gonna work out no, great. 
I don't really want to get into a big thing, mm. but every time I see like people saying you're like literally like God, and then like that they do the same to often. Jesse. Yeah, well, okay. you know, like similar sort of things. I'm like, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Why, why, why do people do that to me? And then I see on my videos, they do kind of do that to me. And I just yeah. realize that I look at other people's comments on their videos more than I look at my own because I don't make any fucking videos. Yeah, you and know. That's why I don't have like a fan base. I have like a couple mm -hmm, people mm -hmm. who are PCP fans and they're occasionally like, oh yeah, Gibbs cool. Yeah, I like Gibbs stuff. And then, you know, they go back to not having watched any of my videos because there are none. Yeah. Uh -huh. Aww. Okay. Yeah. 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 It's. It's yeah. I mean, it's kind of the. It's kind of great. Kind of great. People make PCP fan art. You know, it's time. It's time to to put the money where your dick well, they is do. and draw the shit. I think. I think. No, I, I think know they Tom do. needs to. Tom needs to be like in a in one of the many double podcasts that we have. We need. We need a Tom plus a one podcast. That's true. Me and Tom are gonna do a depression suicide podcast. Oh, that's a good one. That's a good one. Oh, by, oh. by the way, before we get away from the topic, I, I just wanted to say that about the whole like your audience really giving a shit like I, I i think that's a consequence of like the audience reacts with strong emotions to strong emotions like shown in the video and i'm a big yeah. like shouty boy and and like you're you're less of that so like I i'm mean, a I, subtle boy I, I love your content but I, I just think it's kind of like the nature of like people are like yeah oh this guy's yelling i want to yell my money right into his wallet you know that's uh that's <laughs> that's the way You can do uh, like there's I, hey like, it's working for, like for me. Jesse was always like a big passion guy, and people got really passionate into his stuff. And like Dig Digi was more of like just like an absurdly prolific guy, and people just like felt immersed in his content. That like achieves a similar sort of effect. And uh, you know if you can find <laughs> you can do one of those, and I think and it's I, a good way to go. And I and I'm sort of a chuckle boy. They come to me, they just chuckle, they just type ha ha he <laughs> <laughs> he, and they leave. Well, I think another they thing just need more content to... than you, dude. Another thing to think about also is uh -huh. that, like, I'm a diehard Red Letter Media fan, mm. but I have never in my life commented on one of their videos. Me so, neither. I mean, I think Me for neither. every good commenter you get, there's probably 20 people who love you just as much, if not more so, but they just they just don't comment because they don't care about typing shit out. You know, I, yeah. I comment on, like, videos with low numbers of comments, I guess, because I feel like, I don't know, that it matters more, I guess. Like, I've yeah, I, I also just am realizing I've never commented on one of their videos, even though I consume everything they make because I fucking yeah. love it so much. And, um... Um, that, yeah, that's interesting. I have bought a bunch it, of their merch, I, though, which I think is telling. I was willing yeah, to spend think, money on their shit. That's true. I that's think true. about that, like, I wouldn't comment on one of their videos because I don't expect them to uh, read the comments at all. Yeah, yeah. So I don't think they would ever get anything out of what I would put down. So I, don't f I mean, that's why I don't leave comments in general. Mm -hmm. But when it's like, you know, one of you, and I feel like, well, I could say this on, on Discord or whatever, but... It would mm. make sense for it to be in public so people could see what I'm saying and, and as well. Yeah. So I put a, a comment on there because I know that you would read it or, or mm -hmm. whoever. Mm -hmm. So I don't know. That makes Maybe. sense. Oh, yeah? Oh, that's nice. Comments are cool. When the only good. comments I like are when Nate comments on my Yu-Gi-Oh! series. Otherwise, I don't give a shit. Monkey, you forgot. You were distracted from the tips. You have to go back. <laughs> I, I commented no. like every day for like two weeks about that shit. <laughs> oh, By great. the way, I want to real quick here encourage, mm -hmm. you know, fan art's great. It's fine. Mm -hmm. It's it, I, I like it a lot. But if you make songs or something, fan oh, yeah. songs is greater than fan art objectively. Most of the time. Most of the time, least. sure, sure, it's yeah. cool. I I love that shit. Uh, Whenever they make them. So yeah, fan songs are great. Any any sort of fan project are is is great. You don't have to just be an art guy. If you, mm -hmm. anything you can offer is great. Anything that you can alter the, to the altar of Munchie. Anything well, you know that you can those, bring uh, those, from far like, to worship me, you know I, those, I will appreciate it. Those PCP uh, openings that those guys were making, the anime openings for the PCP that were a yeah, big while yeah, back. Those, those are, are great. great. Hey, yeah, those are great. You know what? Wait. We don't have like a remix of our ending theme of the PCP. Well, other than the ones you make. Don't need an orchestra cover. I'm orchestra cover supposed that, to be crapping my pants. You know those. Yeah. yeah. Oh yeah, so, that's right. I forgot about I that. Did that? 
Yeah, somebody made like a, I remember now, like an orchestrated version. Oh, it was great. Cool. It was good. It was, not, it was good. It was upvoted by me on Reddit. Um, <laughs> well, I certainly would have if I had been aware of it. I don't know. We should check, though. That's true. Okay, let's go to uh, let's go to some other questions here. Um, okay, here's one from at Strange CIG asks, "Why is Ben Saint still alive?" I don't know, dude. I've I've been worrying. I've been wondering about that question for a long time. I've been worrying that about that our, fact for a while. Yeah, <laughs> wasn't that our two thousand dollar Patreon goal was kill Ben? That's yeah. He's like a starfish. You break Ben in half, you just get two more Ben. So you know, I don't really know if we want to go down that road. Um. He's trucking along, bro. He's trucking along. He's trucking along. He's trucking. Oh my god, He's guys! Hard to kill. It'll along. it'll be out by now. But I, apparently, the word on the street is uh, a week ago when this comes out, the new fucking Nuzlocke ending to his genocide run is gonna be out tomorrow. From when we're recording this, I've been waiting for it. I'm the I'm the biggest fan of that in the world. I can't fucking wait. Then he can die. Then he can die. Ima- be, uh, imagine what if that comes out and it's just uh, like a HD remake of of the the first Nuzlocke he did. Like the and it's that like, video. Uh, gotcha. Yeah. <laughs> that would be uh, very interesting. <laughs> well, I know that it's not because I'm a guest you star are a on guest. the episode. Oh man, I'm so excited. I'm oh. very hype. Ben and I had talked a bunch about it because I'd been like, "Oh Ben, I want you to do this. I want you to do this on the fucking thing." I've been I've been being a creepy fan of of that Nuzlocke. <laughs> um, okay, okay. Here here's our last question. We got one more from oh our good buddy uh, the dead Minun, uh Exilovich asks. Oh shit. What are some of the worst jobs you've ever had? I know some of Tom's. I I know one of Tom's. Mhm. Yeah. Mhm. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> okay, fair point. Um, I... mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Well, I, I um, in between leaving school and going to uni, I had a year where I didn't know what the fuck I was going to do, and I was just depressed, and I was forced to work, uh, volunteer work, um, to, uh, by the government, because that's how you get, um, because oh. so, uh, okay. you're, you're unemployed or whatever, mm-hmm. um, and I had to sign an online form to, like, tell you people, like, sign up for this shit, you idiot, <laughs> uh, you know, I was a young boy. Uh, I still am, really. But I, I mm-hmm. typed in uh, some. I typed in the wrong uh, county, and uh, well, not county, just sort of like the wrong sort of area, the wrong mm-hmm. town. And they they sent uh, you know I, I sent the form in uh, online. Then they sent me because I typed the wrong town. Uh, the commute was like a two-hour bus drive, all the yeah. way. Yeah, yeah. I, I told it before. And um, working in that place. It was like a charity shop, and I had to like walk work in the back, shoveling shit and 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 deciding what uh, what are the the bags of trash that people send in. You got to sift through it and find oh stuff and God. sort it out. And um, you know that was boring, but that that was at least work. A lot of the time, I was told to man the store, which meant just standing in the store. There wasn't a uh, there there were no seats. There wasn't a seat behind the register, so I just had to just walk around and. And sort of lie on the floor occasionally because my legs hurt. <laughs> yeah, I've been there. And I did that for <laughs> hours, and I didn't like it, and I didn't get paid, and I ran away at one point. You don't get paid sucked. for that work? It was like he had well, to do it or something. It was right? it it was like, uh, the law was like if you want job seekers allowance, if you want grants for not having a job, and you're looking for a job, you have to do a minimum minimum of a certain like a, I don't mm-hmm. know like th- three four days of volunteer work a week. Yeah. That's Yeah, yeah. Yeah. So it was it was 
it was my first real experience of like a nine to five, and it was so boring just standing in that shop because nobody really came in, and I didn't really sell anything, and I was just sort of wait, you know, waiting to die. I was glad when I just didn't come in <laughs> yeah. and broke the rules. Way to go, dude! Excellent. Uh, my uh, hardest job that I ever worked was mm-hmm. not going was never not having i'd never had a job before that was the yeah, hardest just one a, just a, a wee baby. lad a wee lad yeah one day i'll put you boy. to work boy i'll put that butt oh, to work. oh no yeah Dad, Did you ever, don't yeah. get out your belt right, munchie <laughs> munchie for for you specifically as uh, since you're a school man did you did you ever have like a terrible homework that you just hated so much um literally every single homework uh, homework is the work. I would rather go to school all day, like like for like yeah. for like twelve hour school days, than do a single piece of homework. God, just imagine being. Yeah, the homework is fucking retarded. Yeah. 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 I used to try, I used to try, like, when I first got into secondary school, I used to try, um, thinking, alright, I gotta get on top of this homework, I, I hated homework all through primary school, this time, I'm gonna do the homework before I come, if, before I walk home, because I walked home every day, Yeah. and, uh, so, you know, for the first few days, I managed to do the stupid homework, which was draw a page and drew some words, and then I drew <laughs> that, and uh, r- wrote some shit, and then I went home, and then, you know, obviously homework gets more and more and more and more, and I was like, uh, uh. <laughs> It just sort of, it, it became impossible to do it before I went home, because it would have been like, oh yeah, just stay at school for two hours and have no friends. You know, and, yeah. I, I, yeah, I hear you. Um, I've had some shitty jobs myself over the years. Uh, I worked at Best Buy for a while. That wasn't, like, that bad, but it was, like, retail, and I hate... I fucking hate pushing things on people. Uh, not uh, downvoted. Um, I worked at several pizza places. I worked at Papa Gino's, which is like a chain in Massachusetts in like the Northeast region. Oh yeah, nothing's nothing beats Papa Gino's besides an all-out race war. I, I, I I'm actually I love Papa Gino's pizza. I God, I would kill for some. Um, it's so thin. It's the thin. It's delicious. Okay. Uh, mm, uh, I know. I know. Gibbs very concerned about that. <laughs> I uh, worked at, uh, like, another pizza place that was, like, a mom-and-pop one that was it was okay. It was kind of shitty. Uh, I, I worked a bunch of, like, temp jobs, uh, like, after I, you know, the last, like, four years when I was, like, doing stuff, when I was doing pony stuff. I worked at, like, um, just, like, a temp agency being hired for various jobs. and was never very good at them. Oh, it was all Did garbage. Did you demand that they call you keg? Of course. Okay, I'll just uh, wrap up my point. I just wanted to say that, like, about my current job. So my current job is not, like, the worst job in terms of, like, it's the hardest or, um, uh, I don't know, any, any of that shit. But, like, what makes it a unique challenge is, like, it's a, it's, a real, it's a real job. Like, I'm a member of a team working on shit, and, like, there are expectations of me. So, like, when there's work to be done, it has to get done. Nothing else matters. Like, there is no excuses to, like, not do your shit. If you got to spend an entire weekend working on something to get it fucking working for the Monday morning meeting, that's how you're spending your weekend now. Um, and that's exactly what I have to do this weekend and is what I will be doing as soon as we're done fucking recording this. I have to fucking finish this program. It probably won't even be used in the end, but I literally... That's what I'm getting... Yeah, that's, like, part of what I get paid for, though. That, like, I'm basically on call that I have to just do... Whatever. It doesn't happen most of the time, but sometimes it does, and when it does, it's the worst, and interferes with the things I actually want to be doing with my life. But okay, whatever. That's enough of that. Just Jobs quit shit. your job and don't get on Patreon either. Just go away. Just, I'll just die. Yeah, patreon.com slash best guy ever. People set me free. Okay, uh, next is... Uh, uh, oh, oh, what were you saying, Tom? What was your uh, horrific nightmare job? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Hmm. Yeah, yeah. That's cool. Yeah. Oh, Lord.
Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> cool. What the fuck? <laughs> oh, at oh. that point, tell them to fuck yeah, off. Yeah, that's too much. So how long did you do it for? Just two weeks? Ugh. What the fuck? These people didn't know what the fuck they're doing. Yeah, that's, uh... What the fuck? Okay, well, cool. <laughs> Dope. Wait, didn't Mumkey have anything to say? Yeah, Mumkey, what do you No, mean? he didn't. <laughs> what the worst job I've ever had is um, once every week or two I get on this fucking podcast full of these <laughs> autistic little faggots, yeah, yeah. and I, 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 I pretend to put <laughs> up with their stupid bullshit for like an hour and a half, and then I get paid like what twenty bucks for it. Oh, whoop dee dee! What yeah. a great fucking gig! Kill me. Twenty bucks for an hour ain't bad. Okay, well, um, uh, fuck. What was I gonna say? Something important. I don't fucking know. Whatever. I, I give up. Uh, Subscribe to Monkey Joe. Yeah, that's that's the thing to do. <laughs> do that. Uh, I guess Subscribe we're done. Subscribe to Monkey Jones. Hey, yeah. Uh, I, just, I like where I couldn't this is think going. of my own name. Shout out to <laughs> shout out to everybody whose question I didn't read. Your questions were garbage. And that's why I didn't read them. So uh, <laughs> keep keep working, guys. Keep working on shout that shit. Shout out to ghosts. Shout Thank out to you, ghosts. ghosts. Yeah. They're being real. Yo, Danny Fenton, he was just 14 when his Man, parents built a very strange machine. It was designed to view the world, world unseen. He's going to catch them all because he's, he's Danny Phantom. Yeah, that. I like you that. will that remember like my name. Please and don't forget me. to go on the Patreon and, and join the exclusive Discord server. Tom didn't even know it was a thing, even though he should have. <laughs> That's the... Well, well, we'll give you a link. Yeah, we'll give you one. Uh, so, My yeah, body go. is now your communion ghost. Please use me as you <laughs> Just wish. Be, be a patron. Go to go to patreon.com slash uh, the, the procrastinators. Yeah, that's right. And uh, If you join the Patreon lounge, then you will become a ghost in due time, and you'll become I go part of my ghost harem. Do that, and... I and pledge five dollars, and you'll get access to the bonus episodes, uh, including the one that uh, we're gonna do after this shit. So that'll uh, get mm -hmm. ready, everybody. Get ready. Also, go on Twitter and tell Patreon that their new logo is shit. It's really funny. They love it when you do that. Yeah, that's a good <laughs> idea. Have, have they responded yeah, yeah, to that shit at all? About it. Have they said anything about it? Are they freaking out? I hope they're crying. I hope they're upset. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god! Yeah, dude. <laughs> I want that fucking PR rep lady to like respond to those. Uh, fuck you, that goddamn idiot. She's so well, shit. Well, I think I think if they actually be all cheeky and coy with it, I'd prefer that to them like being sincerely like that. Like if they're being oh, sarcastic, I want them to be like oh, I knew sorry. you love yeah, our I, I fucking logo, you prick. If they're like that, then I like okay, they have like a soul. Right. But I still hate you. Yeah. <laughs> Go back. We have to go back. Taryn. Hashtag. We have to go back to PCP. The old, the old logo was so good. I mean. Pod. Yeah. Whatever. We're no, still gonna use PCP that. Discern goddamn is thing. going it's is going. going to exist. I'm going to sell it whether I like Let's it. Let's make that whether shit you already. like it or not. No, we have not. It's not been done yet. I know, we're letting it slip away. Uh we have to do it like immediately. So we need to fucking do this shit. Okay, uh, uh, things are happening, folks. <laughs> we're we're gonna get on this shit. Hopefully we'll have some updates. Oh wait, wait, someone else had a question. Um Shit. No, it, just let it end. No, okay, th this was just relevant. This was just like somebody added a question. I'm sorry, I can't find it, but they just asked like, hey, what's the status with the uh, the iTunes? I just wanted to let everybody know like the iTunes thing. Okay, so we've had a couple issues. There's been some problems getting it set up. It's entirely on me. I just have hadn't had the time because of me and Mav and shit to, to fix it. So iTunes is coming someday soon. So just, just you know, stick around. It'll, it'll happen at some point. There you go. Okay, that's the end. Thanks for listening, everybody. Uh, Gib, what's up? No, 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 we'll say goodbye, but we need to, I need to sync. 
Oh, okay, you guys. yeah. Well, we'll uh, say it before okay. we end. Okay, thanks for this, everybody. We'll see you next time. Bye bye. Make sure you send more questions. Use the hashtag. Hashtag Ask PCP. Bye. I'm a ghost. Good Alf either. Boo. I'm supposed to be working right now. I'm supposed to. Be